Hello everybody, Cooper here and welcome back to another episode of the AFL 23 Management Career Mode here with the Adelaide Crows. We are entering the 2027 season now. We come off a prelim final loss in the last episode, but we've done some recruitment. We've done some good stuff last off season. Uh, so I'm hopeful that we'll be able to turn around some of our form towards uh, that we had in the finals last year as it was a bit sad. But we're going to pick the team for our uh, contest up against uh, Richmond, I believe, is our first preseason game. Uh, we've got a few injuries, it looks like. We've got Cadman, who's injured. Uh, Shea Bolton, who is also injured. He seems to always be injured, which is a growing concern that I have with him. Uh, Sam Darcy's up to an 88 overall, which is quite nice. Um, but we'll put uh, Wietering... Well, actually, we'll leave Wietering on the bench. I don't necessarily mind that. Uh, we need to find all of our players because they are currently not in the spaces they need to be. Justin Hendon was one of our top draft picks from last year, so we're looking to give him some game time this year. We'll probably move him to the bench for Markov. Darcy Fogarty, I don't know why he's on the bench, but he can come in for Cadman. We've got Richard Kane, who was the number one draft pick last season. Uh, sorry, this last season. So he is going to be starting at center half forward. Actually, no, we'll start Fogarty at uh, center half forward. We'll have Kane at full forward. Ben Hobbs, he's one of our uh, players we picked up in the rookie draft, actually. So it's been nice to see that he's still around the place. Matthew Christie's up to a 91 overall, doing very nice. Um, but yeah, this team is all over the shop in some of the selections that we've got here. So Cadman injured. Zach Haynes, uh, sorry, Zach Haynes. I keep calling him Zach. Zayden Haynes is uh, on the bench. For, he's not even in the team, so we're going to bring him out for... Uh, O'Connor, who can sit on the bench. Uh, we'll have Haynes as one of our, he's not our backup Ruckman. He is going to be one of our kickout players. Dawson and Jones can switch. And we'll probably have, who's going to be our backup Ruckman? Probably, probably Darcy, I would say, would be the backup Ruckman. He's quite tall. But I'm going to play around with this team a little bit more, try and figure out who I want to bring in for what position, and then I will come back once we finalise the 23-man squad. I think we're going to bring in Josh Carmichael for the time being. Uh, hopefully, Shea Bolton's injury is not a long-term injury. He did miss the majority of last year with a... I can't remember what the injury was. Might have been a bulging disc or something, but let's have a look. Uh, Cadman's out with uh, syndesmosis for five to six weeks. That's not too bad. Bolton's going to be inactive for quite a long time with a hamstring avulsion. That is highly frustrating. And H only has a hamstring strain for two to three weeks. That is very uh, fixable, um, I suppose. We, I suppose we're um, getting around that. Um, but let's have... Well, I did not mean to press start match. Um, but this... Hopefully we can get around this preseason game. We do fairly comfortably. 94 points. Uh, no, we didn't win by 94 points, we won by 49 points. Uh, but we've got Essendon in round one. Let's have a look at the month, uh, the first couple of months that we'll have in store for these first, for this episode that I'm trying to get through. So we've got Essendon, Port Adelaide and Fremantle in the month of March. And then we've got GWS, Sydney, Hawthorne and the Western Bulldogs in the month of April. So we've got the seven games to start the season. Uh, hopefully we can get off to a good start. Um, I believe we got off to a six and one start uh, last season. So we did very, very well. Uh, but let's have a look here. I kind of want ranking in the forward, uh, in half flank, not it uh, in the forward pocket. So we'll do that. Um, our sub is injured. We'll bring on Oleg Markov as the sub. I think everybody else can stay the same for now. Yep, everybody can stay the same. I just made a quick few changes in the midfield, just rotating a few positions to make it sort of how I want it to be. We've got Ashcroft on the wing. We've got Finn Callahan in the middle. Stark, who's up to a 90 overall, uh, on the other wing with Sam Walsh as our rover and Ben Keyes as our ruck rover, as he has been for the majority of the series so far. Um, James Morrison also up to an 87 overall, uh, which I'm very happy about. Um, but we're going to get forward to this match. Hopefully we can win first round of the season against Essendon. Very winnable game. And we win by 61 points. We get off to a flying start. 
and we uh, absolutely dominate in the second half, kicking nine goals to three. Lots of multiple goal kickers. Ben Keys gets 57 touches, which is absolutely ridiculous. Showdown in round two, our record in showdowns so far has not been fantastic. Sam Walsh is injured, which I'm not exactly thrilled with, but it's okay, we've got plenty of spare midfielders. We bring in Rourke Smith, who can do a job for us. Uh, but it looks like somebody else has come back from injury. I believe that would be Aish. So actually we'll bring Aish in instead of Smith. I've changed my mind. So we'll do that. Um, I don't know how long Walsh is out for. Hopefully it's not for too long. It's only one week with a concussion. So that is not too bad. Um, but we're going to play the showdown. Hopefully we can get through and get a victory. We do. 33 points. So we uh, had a big first quarter, uh, kicking five goals to one. They did not kick straight at all during this game. Uh, very good result for us. Nakai Kukatu, 50 touches and five goals. Definitely got the showdown medal <laughs> in this game. So very good result. And we start the season very, very well. We're still in second place, though, uh, funnily enough. Uh, we, we don't have a, a great percentage compared to Hawthorne. Uh, or Sydney. 100, in 170 is amazing. We finished last season with a percentage of 140, I think it was. Um, so we're probably one of the better teams to not win the Premiership. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing. We'll actually bring Hendon in for Jones. I think that is what we're going to do. And then we will bring in... Who do we bring in for... We'll bring in Charlie Ballard to play... Uh, instead of Jones, we'll do that. We've got a lot of defenders on the bench, um, not by design, but that's just sort of how it's all worked out, I suppose. Um, but we're off to a good start. Fremantle, they're also unbeaten. So we have got to get through this match. We're playing in Perth at Optus Stadium. Um, so we should be a chance here of winning. 35 points is the final margin. We kick six goals in the final quarter after being only kicking, we kicked 11 goals in the second half after only kicking one in the first half. Incredible result, that. Um, now we have GWS at home, which also very winnable game. Uh, Cockatoo is injured, which is not ideal, but Cadman is back. So we'll bring him into the lineup. We'll take Kane out. We'll put Kane on the bench. And we'll have Cadman at full forward. I like the look of that. Carmichael Actually, we'll leave Carmichael in um, because I don't really think we have another Ford. Oh, Sam Walsh is back also, so we should probably bring Sam Walsh back in. We'll bring him in for Ballard because we don't really need another defender on the bench. So we'll put James Aish on the bench. Walsh can go back to being the Rover, and that should be good. We play GWS at home. Let's keep the winning streak alive. Hopefully we can... We jinx it, we lose by three points after being up for the majority of the second half. Um, very disappointing. We only kick five behinds in the final quarter. If we turn that into a couple of goals, we win the game easily. Um, but we take our first loss of the season and we now play Sydney. Why do we have an away game in the gather round? That doesn't make any sense. Well, even though we're playing at Adelaide Oval. That is odd. But anyway, we move on. Stark is injured. Um, I don't know how long for, but Cho uh, Jones is back. So another defender on the bench. We'll bring Hendon back to the bench. Jones can go into the starting lineup. But I am liking the look of uh, this team. It's very strong. Uh, average rating of o uh, 86 overall uh, across all the players. So I'm very happy with uh, what we've got uh, at our disposal, um, but we're looking to win here. Yeah, obviously, it's a home game, technically speaking, because it is at Adelaide Oval. Um, we do win, which is good. We kick 11 goals, 20, which seems excessive. Kick two goals, eight in the third quarter, uh, but we do win, which is the main thing, and we get move further towards the top of the ladder. Speaking of the top of the ladder, we uh, have Hawthorne. Uh, so it's battle of the top of the ladder now. Um, first versus second uh, at Adelaide Oval, um, so we should be a chance here. Uh, Finn Callahan is injured, so that is not helping the cause at all. Uh, Stark is back though, which is good. Uh, we'll move him back to the wing. Aish can play in the middle. 
and it's only Bolton, Callahan, and Patty who are injured at the moment, which is, uh, I suppose, a good thing uh, to have, you know, so few injuries. Um, but hopefully we can win this game. Um, they've got Josh Dacos as their captain, which is kind of funny. Um, we'll simulate, we win. We almost, you know, choke it in the uh, in the fourth quarter. We only kicked one goal to three. Um, we were up by 40 points at three-quarter time, and yeah, we probably could have won that a little bit more comfortably had we just maintained our lead. And I believe this is the final game of the episode. It will be the final game of the episode as we have Anzac round. Uh, we're playing the Bulldogs at Marvel Stadium. For whatever reason, we're still not top of the ladder, which is strange. Um, but that is okay. If we win, we're a chance of going top. Um, but let's have a look. Ashcroft is injured. We'll bring on... Who do we bring on? Let's bring on Elijah Sartis. We'll do that. Ashcroft can come out for a little bit. Final game of the episode. Then we'll go over the statistics as per usual. Hopefully we can get a decent win. We win by 53 points. Very comfortable result in the end. Lots of multiple goal kickers. We actually didn't dominate possession. Um, they had a lot more disposals than us. If we look at, where is their kicks and handballs? Yeah, they had uh, like 422 disposals, whereas we only just got over 350. Um, 349 actually. So yeah, they had a lot more of the ball than we did. Uh, so that was you know, a good result. Um, but we're currently sitting top of the ladder. Uh, if we have a look at things now, uh, yes, we're sitting on top by percentage. We've got the best uh, defense in the league, which is good, which is, I think, the same as last season. Um, we're obviously still working on uh, building up that offense a bit more, so. But we're doing very well. We're off to a good start to the season, season 2027. Uh, we'll have a look at these statistics now for the team. And we'll have a look at who's leading what. Um, Hobbs is actually leading the goal kicking alongside Richard Kane, the uh, the rookie. So both of those guys have nine goals apiece. Uh, O'Connor's got seven goals. Sam Walsh has got six goals from five games. Lots of guys with five plus goals. Ben Keys is leading disposal winners uh, with 27 touch. Um, 27. What am I trying to say? 271 disposals uh, across seven games. O'Connor's also got the 237 in second place. Weedering's got the most marks with 25 marks. Aish has got 24 uh, in six games. And Callahan's got uh, 20 in five games. So uh, a lot of major uh, marking threats across the ground. Uh, Weedering's got the most tackles. Clearances, that goes to Hendon, uh, who's doing a very good job in his rookie season. And then hit out is Jace Morrison, which is not you know, a massive shock. Uh, he has been very, very good um, as our ruckman for a long period of time. We have been fairly inaccurate this season, so I wouldn't be surprised if we had someone with 10 pass behinds, which actually isn't the case. Uh, O'Connor's got nine uh, behinds scored, Weedering's got eight, and uh, Hendon's got seven. In terms of score assists, Walsh and Hobbs are leading that with eight apiece, with uh, Carmichael who actually has got seven, so off to a very, very good start to this uh, season, which I'm very happy with. Um, but that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you did enjoy it, uh, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And uh, until next time, guys, I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.